All right. <clears throat> so I think Renzo might have covered this too, but I know I definitely got it from Yada Crypto. I should have drank more water, maybe eat a little of something dry, <clears throat> and then go to the bathroom, but... Oh, well, whatever. Too late. All right. So, let us make this smaller. Oof, this thing is a little big. <clears throat> so, uh, I have to assume a lot of these followers are fake, but that's okay. Or maybe not. Well, actually, that is a lot, actually. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> All right, so they definitely have a lot of marketing. They have a lot of stuff going on with them. Okay, they are on Binance Smart Chain, and their pre-sale is still alive, which I kind of doubt. I think it's over. Yeah, this, this thing has ended. So they raised a crap load of money, like a lot. So they're basically a safety type of style project. Okay, so they have a lot of hype, so that's good for them. Uh, so they have a KYC done and an audit done by Solidity. They have a ping sale, which obviously is over. Uh, I should actually link to that because that's also good for research. If you want to get into this. And of course, they claim to be doing NFT farming. Uh, pay every 15 minutes. Da -da -da -da. Okay, we've seen this like uh, already. So they have a buy and sell tax of 14 and 16. That looked a lot like what's her face, Sylvanas from whatever. And of course, they gave her the uh, complimentary uh, boob job, so it's always nice. At the end of the year, with 25, okay, yeah, it's worth a lot, of course. There you have the standard 2.5%. I'm actually going to just go through this video real quick because I kind of want to just get out of here. Right? <laughs> I want to get, a, get out of the rest of my day and do a lot of research. So, all the liquidity system. Alright, so pretty much it's just like Seifu. Alright. This is the one thing that I'm interested in. We will release a series of NFTs geared for collection with a prime file added utility boosting daily APY up to 50%. Okay, so I actually don't like that. Because it's just gonna, it's just gonna create a lot more hyperinflation. Users will be able to use uh, the Forge to create higher rarity NFTs. Okay, so you could trade in your old, <clears throat> your shittier rarities for a better one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Da -da -da. I assume this is going to have to be pretty expensive. All accounts for by smart contracts are 5% fee. Okay, great. FT will assign a rarity score from blah, 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 blah. Okay, so. All right, you can get extra boosts. Huh. Oh, okay. So you, so each per, so each wallet address can only have five NFTs equipped, quote unquote. Okay. So now I see why this might actually. So people actually think this could be like something similar to Web three in that like they actually believe that the NFT stuff is real. So okay. So that's interesting. Uh, provably fair. Pro tips: You can go up to collect cheaper NFTs, of course, them to upgrade them or resell them in the marketplace. Higher NFTs give you more clout and a higher APY, so it'd be natural demand. Yeah. So there's also probably like a nice little like ego boosting factor. Like, hey, I got five legendary NFTs. You have nothing. Ha 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 ha. I'm burying you. Ha ha ha. Right? And just imagine some smug asshole. Right. So, okay, and they take a 5% royalty fee, I assume, on, like, whatever transaction, right? It just says right here, I, I'm not even really bothering to read this. All right, so that's actually pretty good. So, foraging with only, okay, and then here's, like, a theoretical. If they launch with only 1,200 common NFTs, and assuming everything gets all forged, there will only be 75 legendaries. So, that's actually pretty cool, and... One can only hold five NFTs at a time, irrespective of them being of any rare, uh, rarity score. So it actually seems like, oh, okay, so your wallet address is actually limited to just holding five. So you have to constantly buy, forge, buy, and forge, buy, and forge. Okay, so let's say I wanted to do this. I won't, but as an example, I would buy four commons, and then I would then convert it into two uncommons, greens, and then that two uncommons becomes one... What, what's after uncommon? Yeah, it becomes a rare. So they basically copy World of Warcraft's item scheme. Right? And then I have one rare. 
Now I gotta do the same thing, buy four more commons, again, turn it, that into a rare, now I have two rares, and I turn that two rares into one epic. So now I have one epic. Now I have to do the same thing again. Buy four commons, turn it into a rare, buy another four commons, Actually, I can't, because I actually run out of space, because I can only hold five. So yeah, you can see that it actually becomes kind of a big hassle. But ultimately, I forage two epics, and I turn one epic into a legendary. Uh, and then I think it actually becomes impossible, right? Well, I'll definitely be spending a lot of time like upgrading, upgrading, and upgrading, and upgrading. I might actually just be better off just buying a legendary right off the bat, simply because it's just less hassle. Now they have another uh, token, which is an upcoming project. How do you get roar over on top of one trade daily? And you also okay. So it looks like Medusa Protocol is also combining themselves with a drip fork. That's what this sounds like. Because I think I vaguely remember something like that in Yada Crypto's description. And there's of course some kind of tax here. So, guys, we're going to do so. Magnolia, your wallet, utility, governance. Okay, so not only is it a drip fork, but they're also rewarding you Medusa tokens. So, this is actually pretty smart what they're doing. Cars get rebranded. Yeah, no, we don't need to worry. Okay, so there'll be a maximum of 2 billion tokens. So, I appreciate that because now I don't have to link out to the stupid documentation. Uh, slippage. Okay. So I still have to consult the documentation because, all right, where is, I think this is the white paper. Uh, okay, how the API is calculated. This is not what we're looking for. Uh, fixed API. Okay, so they're actually going with a fixed API system. No, here it is. Okay, never mind. All right, so okay, uh, we don't need a link to the Twitter. This was just for my research purposes. But okay, so people are obviously pretty excited about it. This does look pretty uh, legit. I guess if I had the binary Titano fork, I would actually buy this. And this is on Binance thingamajig. So uh, I don't know when does this thing launch. Do I really care to buy this thing? It's a good question. Damn, between Kronos, uh, Wizardly, and this project, I mean, I mean, yeah, I think I could actually believe them. Because at the very least, I know you can fork a drip fork. So even if you didn't believe in their NFT little scheme thing they have, and obviously it's not that hard for, if you know how to do NFTs and do some kind of coding, you can easily do something like this. Because all you have to do is get some graphics and then just put in the code. And then that's it, all right? Uh, well, that's the only thing. I don't actually see a whole lot of graphics here, except, you know, this, you know, hot lady, right? So, yeah, it's a very nice graphic, by the way. Hmm. I don't know. You know what? I'll probably just pass. You know, I already have enough. But with that being said, I probably wouldn't mind. Cause, and the reason why I say pass is because I like to see more graphics on here. So, if you're going to claim to be an NFT guy or gal, right, I need to see graphics. I need to see proof that you actually are making the NFTs, right? And that's a very creative endeavor. So I don't see that here technically. But on the other hand, I think they might actually be willing to do it. So because they did everything, because everything else seems to check out. So you know, like they say, it's all coming soon. Yeah, soon to yeah. So yeah. But with that being said, um, you know, actually, this will be a good thumbnail. Actually, you know, put the high attractive gray lady up front. So definitely check out Medusa. Protocol. It's actually called Medusa-Finance.com. So they obviously have to get a new domain and then redirect to the newer domain, right? Like Sphere Finance had to do that too. So it works out fine. Uh, well, that being said, I am done for the day. This is a very short video. Uh, I went through everything pretty quick. No fuss, or no muss. I got to do a lot of research. A lot of good stuff is happening in crypto, it looks like. And of course, you know, it's still a couple of weeks out until May 4th, right? The Federal Reserve. So, you know, we're, we're looking at a very good, you know, pump, uh, pump action, right? And I'm hoping Sphere will go back to like, you know, 10, 11 cents in no time. And, you know, as much as I don't like how Titano has been operating in terms of them being angry and jealous, 
of Sphere especially, you know, it'll be good to also see him at least hit like 12 cents or something. Just to, just to reassure everybody else in the crypto space, hey, Titano Season's back online. Sphere Season is back online. Let's go buy that shit. All right, and that pumps our your bag and my bag, right? So, yeah. But anyway, check out uh, Medusa. All right, I'll have all the links out to everything else. I'm leaving it like this because I want to make sure the YouTube auto generator, you know, picks this picture. All right, I mean, it should be no problem because you know, because YouTube algorithm knows what gets the clickbaits, right? You know, and I know this is clickbaity. So yeah, so I'm definitely done for the day. Like, subscribe, share this video. You know, let's grow the channel. Thank you to all the new people that are here. We're only growing. We're only getting stronger, smarter, wiser, closer with God. And more, and of course, equally important. Or, yeah, equally important, not more important, because nobody can be above God, of course. Uh, you know, we're getting richer, too. Well, I'm definitely getting richer, so, I mean, yeah. It's like, yeah, this is fantastic. So, I will not be investing in this. However, I will probably uh, keep track of it. I'll probably hear about it. Uh, and then I'll buy in at a ex more expensive uh, price because, like I said before, I'm actually willing to do that if that means that the project is actually uh, worth more, right? Right? Because I don't want to be buying a failing project. I only want to be buying a project that's going to the moon. So you know, because Web three, I bought in late. I bought at like, in like two hundred dollars on average at the time. That, that now that clown is worth almost five hundred bucks a piece, and that's after all this little correction stuff we had in the Titano sphere space, right? So I don't have a problem. Medusa's the same way too, all right? Because again, the big, the biggest thing is, are they actually going to do the NFT stuff? And if they are doing it, we need to see the graphics and does it actually work? Like trading in the uh, shitty common NFTs into the legendary stuff. And of course, that, that just, uh, you know, increases your daily APY. So you gotta be a little, so we gotta be a little bit careful about that too, because that's gonna put pump out a lot of defl uh, inflationary pressure, right? Because if you're a whale and you're doing the legendaries and you're doing 50%, I mean, there's a good bet you probably have a lot of Medusa tokens, and you're gonna be dumping a lot of them too, right? So it's like, I don't know, it'll, it'll be uh, it's like, hmm, okay, you know. But other than that, I mean, this project does look pretty solid, so. I don't know. It's up to you. Like you and obviously we're we're too late to the pink sale. So, <laughs> yeah. see you all tomorrow. I have no idea what we'll cover. In fact, if there's very little in the content, I might take tomorrow off. Right? I'm going to mind a day off. Right? You know, I've been pumping out four videos a day, so it's a lot of content. So I mean, it's already a lot of stuff for all of you to work with anyway. So, yeah. I mean, it's insane. Like after like you know a year or two, you know, there's there's gonna be like hundreds of projects on my YouTube channel. It's like you know what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, all right. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what the other YouTube channels have for projects, and I'll steal content ideas from them and then cover it myself. And uh, yeah, so very good, very good productive day. You know, I'm gonna go into the Kronos uh, wizardly, all right? Because I want my hand on freaking Kronos. All right, and I want to see wrapped Bitcoin and wrapped Ethereum miner projects. Then I will have the ultimate power in cryptocurrencies. All right, we'll be unstoppable. And then, of course, the IMF said cryptotization is coming, so they're caving. And the SEC supposedly is caving, so I got to see about that. Let me just take a look right now. Uh, April 1st, no, it was April 1st. Uh, read the tea leaves. We'll start off. I saw it. Is anyone's guess? It does, it's a matter of this year. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like George from Cryptos R Us must have something up his sleeve. So, because I don't see it on the news yet. All right. Well, whatever. See you all tomorrow. Uh, probably, hopefully. And thanks for watching.